a pretty significant Q3 beat here. How do you see economic and market conditions impacting earnings momentum moving forward? Yeah, so, so we, we had a good set of results. I, at the core, this is this is the strategy that we set out over the past six, seven years that's just working. And it's, it's working in, in a few really important areas that have been supported by very uh, cooperative markets, I would say, but not always straightforward. So we had really good results in our wealth management business. So we, we know that there's a, a rising affluent population across Asia, Middle East, and Africa. Uh, we know that, that people who are becoming wealthy are diversifying their wealth. So they're looking for new currencies, new instruments, new markets. And that's mainland China, Indonesia, India, etc. And they're coming to us. So they're, they're coming, not alone, but we're getting our, our more than our fair share, I would say. Uh, so that business has been great, and we announced today that we were going to double our rate of investment into that business, because we think this is a long-term structural opportunity. The second is we, we've said for a while now, we're really good at working with global corporations, global institutions, financial institutions, governments, on anything that's cross-border. If it, it involves cross-border payments, cross-border risk management, capital raising, investment, that's our specialty. And that business has just been humming. So in our transaction banking business and financial markets, we, we had a really good quarter. We've had a really good year. Uh, this is what we do, and it is, we're just going to keep on feeding that in terms of, of investment. The macro environment is very good for us. So we've had very low impairments or loan impairments. I think that reflects the fact that the global economy is in pretty good shape. We're, we're forecasting 3.2% global growth this year with the U.S. firing, sitting here in Saudi, absolutely firing the whole region. India doing extremely well, ASEAN doing extremely well, and China, which of course is, is sluggish, it's still growing at 4.85%, and, and we think that that will continue into next year. So it's actually a big contributor to global growth, even though it's less than the historic rate, and probably less than they would like, hence the massive stimulus that, that we're seeing coming in now. So overall, the macro environment has been supportive, but really we think that we're making progress, and I think the market is recognizing that, because the strategy we've been talking about for a while is really working.